name is Karen Palmer, P-A-L-M-E-R, and um, with my not-so-good glasses. I'm just going to say what I heard on the news this morning, and that is that Massachusetts is filing a case against Enron, um, and they want their, um, all the research they have done for the last 40 years. And um, as a spoiler, there's, um, okay, uh, there's research that has been done, and there's mm -hmm. um, over eight months of investigation. Inside Climate News presents the multi-part history of Exxon's engagement with the emergent science of climate change. The story spans four decades and is based on primary sources, including internal company files dating to the 1970s, interviews with former company employees, and other evidence, much of which is being, being published on this website. And I have the website at the top of the page. Um, it says here, it describes how Exxon conducted cutting edge climate re research decades ago, and then without revealing all that it had learned, um, worked at the forefront of climate denial, manufacturing doubt about the scientific consensus of its own scientists, um, that his, their own scientists had confirmed. Um, I also know that our governor has come out, you know, when our president came out against the, you know, walked down the Paris um, uh, Climate Court uh, meeting, um, and she said that she really wanted to be, uh, she wanted everyone to know that she really wants us to um, be on the cutting edge of what to do with, um, how to deal with the increase of fossil fuel and how we as a state can reduce the carbon emissions. And so if we are going to do that, we have to make sure that we're basing it on fact. And so I'll give you this. Also, too, there are other articles that I have here included that has to do with the impact on um, uh, water in, um, <laughs> on coastal lines. And so um, I'm going to submit them all. I'm not going to read them. Thank you, ma'am.